Welcome back. This is the last video that demonstrates technical skills for Project 2 in Computer Art class. In this one, I want to talk about using the selections that we make to paint in areas. We're going to drag those painted areas from one document to another and we're going to manipulate them using transformations. So the goal of this project is going to be to make a interesting composition that uh, creates a specific visual dynamic and we'll talk about visual dynamics later uh, and we want to use portions of photographs from the internet or photographs that you've taken for that matter if you'd like to do that so here's the skill like I demonstrated in the previous video we're gonna make selections and those selections isolate specific areas of a work of art and allow us to modify them. In this case, when we make our selections, we're going to make a new layer and paint inside of that selection on the new layer. So I've got my new layer. I'm going to just call it Eiffel 1 because the Eiffel Tower and it's layer 1 from the Eiffel Tower. And I'm going to pick a color. I'm going to pick something really obnoxious, bright green and I'm going to paint inside of that selection. As I showed you before, I can't paint outside of the selection. I can only paint inside of the selection. That's why selections are cool. Allow you to modify only what's inside of those dotted lines. So I'm going to paint that in. Now, we can deselect. Deselecting means, means removing the selection. To deselect, you'll hit Control D. Now you can see this layer, this Eiffel 1 layer, has a painting that's very similar to the one below it. Pretty cool. I don't have to paint in the, the entire layer, so I'm going to make another layer called Eiffel 2. And I'm going to make a selection again. And maybe I just want to paint in the lower... No, I'm going to paint in just the top, the top portion. I don't have to use the whole selected area. And I kind of went over a little bit. You can see that I kind of went over. I want to erase that portion below um, this walkway. So I'm going to get my eraser tool, Oops, set my opacity high, and erase where I need to erase. There we go. So now I've got these two layers that I've created. One that's the top portion and one that's the whole Eiffel Tower. What I want to do is drag them over to another file. We can work on multiple files at one time. We've seen this before. We've got all these tabs up here that allow us to switch back and forth between different images. Okay, I'm going to make a new one. File, New, and I'm going to make it 2000 pixels uh, why, uh, I'm going to make it 2,000 pixels high by 800 wide. So it's going to be really tall and narrow. Now I can switch back and forth between these. See that? Another thing I can do with these tabs is I can pull one of the tabs off. See now I've got this file that's over here and it's pulled off the side. When I pull it off, it allows it to be independent from everything else. So I can click on these other tabs and still see the original. It's kind of cool. It allows us to do a lot of things. You can also drag it back up to that bar and you can see that you'll get a blue outline and the um, file will kind of turn transparent. When it turns transparent and you get that blue outline at the top bar, it allows you to redock that that file. So I'm going to undock the file and I'm going to switch back over to my image with the Eiffel Tower. And this allows me to click on a layer and drag the layer over. Sorry for the announcement. I'm at the end of class. But anyways, we drag the image over. And if you've lost a set of keys on a lanyard, please come to the main office or call. Thank you. Thanks, Mrs. Denio. Anyways, this allows us to bring a whole, to the lobby desk, please. a whole bunch of different layers from different pictures over into one document. Okay, 
So right now I've got these two layers in this one document and it allows me to transform them and I'm going to talk about transformations later. I can duplicate them and I can make a sort of interesting arrangement for a work of art. So, you make selections, paint them in, make a new document, drag them over into the new document, make an arrangement, and make a work of art.